Yo, 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 what's up, what's up? Thank you for joining us today on this very special episode of How to Be a Pimp Daddy. For those of you new to this show, we go over everything you need to know on how to be the freshest, the flyest, the finest pimp daddy in your hood. This week, we're going to tell you when's the best time to get a little ha <laughs> ha with your lady, or when it's time to just leave her at home and go play ball with the homies, or when it's time to pray that little Junior ain't on his way. The uterine cycle. This involves changes in the endometrium of the uterus due to ovulation as well as hormones like FSH and luteinizing hormone found in the pituitary glands as well as progesterone and estrogen found in the corpus luteum. The menstrual cycle is split into four periods, menstrual, proliferative, secretory, and ischemic phases. This lasts approximately 28 days for one cycle, and the cycles continue until menopause. The menstrual phase. This occurs during day one through five of the menstrual cycle. This is when blood and unfertilized oocyte, as well as endometrial tissue, leaves through the vagina. This also begins the creation of a new oocyte via oogenesis. Oftentimes, this occurs concurrently with a woman having her monthly bleeding, also known as her period. Let me break it down for y'all. The first, them scientists like to call the menstrual phase. It's time when your girl be asking you to do some crazy whack stuff, like get her some, get her some tampons or wings on or some, some, some whack stuff like that, you know what I'm saying? The proliferative phase. This is days 6 through 14, which is approximately 9 days long. Estrogen increases and promotes ovarian follicle growth. This is also when the endometrium thickens 2 to 3 fold. Spiral arteries elongate in the endometrium and oogenesis continues. Women are able to go about their normal activities at this time and are unaffected by what's going on in their uterus. Proliferative phase. That, that's when your woman like to chill. Maybe go to the club with her homegirls, get her drink, maybe her groove on. You know, so what you want to do is you want to get your homeboys, put on your flies kicks, and press the chicks. The luteal phase. This is days 15 through 27 of the uterine cycle. This lasts approximately 13 days. The corpus luteum, the remnants of the oocyte after it's released into the fallopian tube, forms, releases progesterone, and grows. The endometrium also continues to thicken. Spiral arteries compact and also coil. Ovulation occurs and the corpus luteum is formed. At this time, a woman begins to undergo PMS, also known as premenstrual syndrome. PMS. Y'all know that? If you don't, change the channel. PMS, also known as premenstrual syndrome. This involves a collection of symptoms which includes increased mood swings, odd cravings, cramping, fatigue, and often irritability. The ischemic phase. This is approximately day 28 and it lasts about a day. This is when the corpus luteum degenerates and the spiral arteries and the uterine muscle contracts. This creates a stop in blood flow and bleeding into the endometrium. This equates to a loss of 20 to 80 milliliters of blood. The oocyte in the uterus also comes off the endometrium at this time and is ready to be released out of the vagina. A woman tends to feel pain and cramping during this time. The last phase is the ischemic phase. If you can't find your girl, go check the bathroom floor. Maybe she's on the floor, she got all these cramps and stuff, you know? So just give her a little bit of model and tell her to call you in the morning. So that's pretty much it, homies. They call it the menstrual cycle. Lasts like 28 days or something. But just be glad it's not a nine month cycle. Because you're going to end up with one of those crying lime clots or something like that. 
You know, you don't want one of those. And not only you get that crying laugh, you get that crying baby mama. Woo! It's big headache. You might need some mite off. Thanks for watching this episode of How to Be a Pimp Daddy. Join us next week when we go over all the reasons why you shouldn't beat up your girlfriend if her name is Rihanna. Peace.